Hello and welcome back. Last week, someone on TikTok asked if I would do a Q&A video here on YouTube. So I posted a video and asked for a bunch of cues for me to A. And you guys gave me a lot of questions. So today I'm gonna try and answer as many of them as possible. After all, what could be worse than sharing a bunch of personal data with strangers on the internet? Let's get started. Let's start easy. Three books that I would recommend to anyone. Beach Read, super cute, light summer reading. The House on the Cerulean Sea, absolutely adorable story with some fantasy twists thrown in. And The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse because it's just got a lot of great life lessons and it's super positive and happy. What inspired you to start writing slash becoming an author? Honestly, I think it's just because I read a lot. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to write and I wanted to make movies and I wanted to make comic books and I just wanted to tell stories. I've been writing stories since I was like little, little. I used to write stories about me and my grandma's dog going on adventures in the backyard. I also think I got into writing as well because especially when I was younger, I just was never reading anything where I felt represented, um, especially from the queer standpoint. I just was like not finding that in anything I was reading. So I was like, well, if I can't find it, then I'm gonna make it. Honestly, I just like telling stories and crafting worlds and creating characters. So I started writing comics and then eventually started writing books. If I showed up at your door crying, holding Twilight, what would you do? Well, obviously I would comfort you by taking Twilight from you and throwing it into the bushes. You get a hug. Twilight gets the rug. Get out. What board game started your obsession with collecting games? So the board game that kind of like started my obsession was a game called Lords of Waterdeep, which is a game we still own. Some friends of friends had been inviting us to come over for a game night and I had been avoiding it because I was like, oh my God, I have better things to do than play freaking board games. But eventually they convinced us to come over. I played the game and I absolutely loved it. And from there, it was just a downhill spiral of spending money on boxes of cardboard. And I've never looked back. What's a book you regret reading? Gee, let me think about this. Um... Oh, this question is hard. Top three favorite books. I've actually talked about this in a previous video, but I'll do it again just for you. What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera, Bear Town by Frederick Bachman, and Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. Favorite ride at Disney World. So some of you may know I live about 10 minutes from Disney World, so I'm able to go quite a bit when there's not a pandemic. I go back and forth on this, but I think my favorite ride is Expedition Everest. It's a really fun roller coaster, but it's not so scary that I get stressed getting on it. What is my favorite color? Ah, oh, I love easy questions. My favorite color is orange. Do you buy multiple copies of books when they come out in a new cover? No, not really. I think new covers are really cool, but I have such limited space as it is, and I'd rather spend that money on a new book. How many penguin stuffed animals do I own? Uh, all right, I've just gone to count and I think with him included, I have three, so not enough. Are you planning any future books? Yes, I am. I'm actually working on my next book right now and I have several more in the works, so I will be writing for a very long time. Manga or comic books? I have read a lot of comic books and manga at this point. It's hard. I Sometimes I think I like manga more, sometimes I think I like comic books more. I will say that currently I am reading way more manga than I am reading comic books. Paperbacks or hardbacks? Obviously I love both, but I do prefer to read paperbacks. They're lighter, they fit easier in luggage, I can carry them with me, no problem. So I prefer reading paperbacks, but obviously I love hardbacks because they're so pretty. If you could write an official canon to any book, which would you pick? Honestly, and I know this may be an unpopular opinion given everything going on right now, but I would love to write a Harry Potter story set more in modern day and with a really diverse cast. I'd love to see more people of color and more LGBTQ representation, and I'd love to write it and have it be canon. I mean, that would never happen, but it would be so fun. <gasps> oh my gosh, should I write a fan fiction? Stop it, stop it, don't answer that question. First book I ever reread, uh, definitely Harry Potter, because when I was little I reread those books like a thousand times. Favorite snack, huh? Uh, oh, I think this means food. Oreos. I mean cookies but Oreos. What is your favorite flavor of cookie to get at Barnes and Noble? They have this like salted toffee caramel thing. It's so good, I don't know what it's called, but it's delicious. It has toffee in it. If you see one with toffee, that's the one. Who is more toxic, Tamlin or Edward? <laughs> Ooh, that's a hard question. But you know what? I'm gonna go with Edward. Tamlin is crazy toxic, but I think Tamlin could be redeemed. Now that we've seen Midnight Sun, we know that Edward is just a crazy stalker who doesn't believe in consent and thinks he owns women. So, that's pretty bad. Which book did you read that changed your life the most? I have no idea where the jacket for this book went, so I'll just show it to you like this. 
This is Dare to Lead. It's by Brene Brown. Now this is not a fictional book. It's a nonfiction book about how to lead in your business and in your life, but it's so inspirational to me. I think about it at least once a day. Um, I really think it gives a lot of great life lessons of just how to be really courageous despite being terrified all the time. Dare to Lead, I highly recommend it. Did you ever expect getting TikTok famous? First of all, I don't know that I am TikTok famous. Let me say this, I never once expected to have such an amazing community be so supportive of what I do. And I also never expected people to just send me things in the mail because they love my content so much. Like, what? That's amazing. So I guess the answer is no to that question. I didn't expect any of this. And I'm still a little bit shocked, a lot of bit shocked about all of it. How long did it take to publish your books? So every book that I publish takes around a year to a year and a half. Um, the current book I'm working on will probably be more closer to two years, um, just because of the length and the breadth of it. It's finishing up a trilogy, so there's just like a lot of loose ends to tie up. But usually about a year to a year and a half from start to finish. Last one is who's my favorite character in a book that I've written? So this is Long Tales. My favorite character is the main character, Del. Um, he's probably the most similar to me as a character, even though he's a mouse. He's got a lot of insecurities. I think I write about insecurity a lot, actually, in my writing. If you've happened to read any of my books, you probably know I write a lot about insecurities and kind of overcoming them. And Dell is just like a manifestation of that. He's also a huge nerd. He likes video games and comic books and reading. Um, I put a lot of myself into his character, even though he's a mouse. And I just really enjoy writing him. So I would say he's probably my favorite, but I like all my characters quite a bit. Guys, thank you so much for all of these questions. If you have other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, maybe I'll do another one of these, like a part two situation. Also, thank you for all the amazing love and support here on TikTok, on Instagram, everywhere. You guys have just been amazing. This past three months has been just like bananas as these accounts have grown. So thank you so, so, so much for all of that. As always, please make sure to like this video, subscribe, I think there's a notification bell. I think you can sign up for a personalized smoke signal when I post a video. I don't know. In any case, have a wonderful week and happy reading.